Long time no see everyone, it's your old mate Jakargon back at it again. We made it, it is the year of our Lord, no longer 2022, it is 2023. In fact, a few days into 2023, uh, I've been super, super busy working my second job, which got really, really hectic over the new year, so that's why no videos. But, but you know, new year, have some time, that silly season is over for now, so we're back at it today. And with it also being 2023, it means there's a plethora of like, you know, 2023 fashion forecast videos. That's just the thing, right? That's what people want to watch. But instead, today I'm going to be giving you my fashion plans for 2023, or at least things that I'm going to try and follow, rules perhaps, for this year, and maybe do my best to stick to them. Okay, so as always, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Comments also very, very much appreciated. It all helps with this wiggledy wobbledy higgledy hobbledy algorithm that is YouTube and very, very much appreciated. Whatever it is that you do, even if it's just a view. So fashion resolution number one for 2023 is always check the sizing of a piece I'm going to get. My goodness, I was actually going to make a like worst of 2022 video and the year's over. So I can't really do that anymore. It's just, it's just not possible. You can't make videos with 2022 in the title. It, YouTube doesn't even let you. Trust me, I tried. And so, yeah, definitely checking sizing, double checking sizing, triple checking sizing. It's just making sure of the most of it. One of the worst things that I did experience through last year in getting pieces here and there was that things just wouldn't fit as I wanted them to, or properly, or just, it was just so much of a headache that I'm going into this year, cool, calm and collected to be like, okay, look, I know my sizing, I know my measurements, I know what should fit. So let's make sure it does fit. Cause I don't want any of that negativity. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. Number two, and I guess number three is all, well. they're like related to each other, but that is, buy less and also look at pieces that are a little bit more dearer than I would usually look at. And I'll explain what I mean by this. So when I really get into something, I really, really get into it. And that can be, you know, if you go back as far as when I used to stream or being to like other hobbies, such as I guess maybe gaming before the streaming, I would go like all in, you know, dip my toe and be like, good, like it, let's go. And I find that with doing this channel, I have rapidly accelerated the rate of which I am picking up pieces. And although most of them, in fact, all of them have been at a great, great price and really, really amazing deals, there has been a lot of things that I have picked up just for the sake of, you know, getting a bunch of things, shopping through the proxy, not wanting to just buy like one item at a time and then getting them sent through. And that has led to stuff that I wasn't super 100% on, let me say more like 200%, I'm like super jazz on. I liked it, but I wasn't like, I need it. And I wanna be more mindful of that going into the rest of this year to make sure that if I am grabbing something, that it has to be something that will do very well in the wardrobe. And I'm not just grabbing it because it's a good deal, right? It's a great deal, I must have it because it is a good deal. And that leaks into things being a little bit more dearer with, with the state of the wardrobe, which I have at the moment, I'm really, really happy with it. And in fact, there's only really pieces that are appealing to me or out there that are a little bit dearer because maybe they have, you know, designs. Everything I wardrobe is pretty standard. There's nothing too wild out there, but some specific things in specific materials, maybe say like silk or with some, you know, designs that is pertain to said year or maybe even some runway pieces that will end up being a bit dearer. I wanna do my best to try and look into getting something like that if I do really want it and making sure that I am, you know, putting pennies aside and watching that savings go up to go towards said specific thing instead of just, you know, dropping everything and putting some money into something that is just a great deal. And I find like I'm just rambling here, but it's nice to kind of like put this out there, but basically TLDR, buy less. And if I am buying something, make sure it is something a lot nicer overall that I'll be happier with in the long run. Okay, next up, 
try and wear things in my wardrobe more and cycle through pieces and try and maximize wear out of as many of the pieces that I have pertaining to, you know, whether it's relevant to the current season, because currently it's boiling. It's really hot. I'm just sweating all the time, but I've noticed that I am gravitating to a few pieces that I'm really, really putting through the ringer and loving every single bit of it because they really, really just make the weather that much more bearable. In fact, I've got a video coming up where I will be sort of showing how I'm going to be keeping tally of all this, which you've probably seen other videos be done recently about it. It is using an application that sort of does AI stuff and, you know, you log outfits into it, but look forward to it. It's actually going to be pretty cool. I've been using it for just over a month now to just, you know, get the data going rather than just doing it without anything in there and really looking forward to piecing that video together. Next up, downsizing the wardrobe. Now, there's a couple of ways that I want to actually do this. One, the more obvious way of, you know, getting rid of pieces that I'm not wearing so much and that's something that the app is tracking. But as well as that, trying to, you know, give myself little challenges here and there, maybe like, you know, let's go a week with only wearing stuff from like 10 pieces or, focusing on trying to make the most of things that I might not rotate in and out as much and seeing whether it is something that I do want to keep in my wardrobe because I got it for a reason and I might not wear it because it's just something that I don't reach to or I'm just not as familiar with it as other pieces. So I want to gain familiarity with things like that and get better at styling. I feel like giving yourself tighter boundaries in terms of what you can work with and can do stuff with can yield some interesting results. So I'm very curious to see how that does go and what we do get up to with that working, you know, on a more limited scale sort of thing. And then lastly, I guess it's a pretty obvious one, but I do want to get more involved with, you know, the community, going out to events, meeting people. I made some really, really great friends that I still talk to to this day, almost daily, and all this kind of world sphere type thing and I really want to keep being involved with that and keep making videos apprehensively you know <laughs> make TikToks as well as much as I have a lot of beef with that platform just in terms of the algorithm and you know getting stuck in a lot of like you know echo chambers and things just being exactly the same in their day in day out uh but just to make content for me Hopefully people enjoy it. A few of you out there have made that very clear, which is really cool. So let's see how we do. It should be a fun one. Let's all make the most of it and, you know, live within our means and, I don't know, here and there, get a bit silly because, you know, it's life. Why not? We're going to do silly things sometimes. And I have been doing that a lot. And yeah, <laughs> I guess it's been fun. So yeah, they're my fashion resolutions for the new year. Hope you've enjoyed the video. It's been a simple sit down, but it's always great to chat to y'all, regardless of what it's about. And so hope you're all taking care of yourselves out there. Hope you had a nice holiday or if there is a holiday coming up for you, it is fruitful and relaxing and make sure to get and catch up on some of that sleep because that's really, really important too. So until next time, you'll take care of yourselves. Have fun. Don't do anything I'd do, except, hey, maybe make some goals for the year. You don't have to be too specific on like, I need to do X thing by Y date. Just something that you can, you know, track slowly towards, even if it's something as simple as every day, I will read two lines out of my book. Maybe that's a bit too much. I know that I probably won't be able to do that, but we'll see how we do. Until next time, you'll take care. Bye-bye.